It's finally Friday here, which means at WUFT, it's time for some entertainment. Ryan Dumet joins us. Ryan, what's going on in entertainment this weekend? Well, we have a festival coming to Gainesville, but first let's go ahead and look at our box office preview. A controversial board game is now a scary movie, and Keanu Reeves, Shailene Woodley, and Bill Murray are all starring in new releases. Here's what's hitting theaters. Come on, you guys, who's doing that? A board game is anything but boring in Ouija. Friends try to contact a dead pal after her mysterious demise using Hasbro's spooky amusement, but soon find they'd be better off playing Battleship or Monopoly. Ouija is rated PG-13. You working again? No, I just sorting some stuff out. Keanu Reeves packs a 9mm lowjack in John Wick. He's a retired hitman who gets his car stolen, and that pushes him into an assassin's rage, where he gets all shooty at the gangsters who robbed him and killed his dog. John Wick is rated R. I was 17 when my mother disappeared. Shailene Woodley is a teenage orphan in White Bird in a blizzard. She's a high schooler stewing in a pot of boiling hormones. But when the repressed mom Eva Green leaves, it opens questions that may never be answered. White Bird in a blizzard is rated R. Take me, God. Don't play with me. Bill Murray's no angel in St. Vincent. He's the grumpy old man living next door to Melissa McCarthy and her son. One day when young Oliver is locked out and mom has to work late, the war vet agrees to babysit and shows the boy much more of the world than he bargained for. Criticschoice.com didn't seem to be a fan of Ouija, giving it zero out of four stars. John Wick and St. Vincent were able to pick up three stars. A legendary comedian makes his mark six years after his death. It was on West 121st Street in Harlem that comedian George Carlin grew up and became the funny inspiration to generations of other comics. And now George Carlin Way isn't just a career direction, it's another name for that New York City street. The people of New York gathered earlier this week for the, for the signs unveiling. Carlin died in 2008 at the age of 71 after becoming a comedy icon. The Hobbit wasn't just a hit for moviegoers, airlines also took the film and made a themed in-flight air safety video from Air New Zealand. The New Zealand airline released the Hobbit-inspired video ahead of the final film in the trilogy, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, which hits theaters in December. Actors make an appearance in the video along with some of the Middle Earth locations that appear in the Hobbit trilogy. Air New Zealand's first safety video inspired by the Hobbit films attracted more than 12 million online views. The annual Pride Parade and Festival returns to Gainesville tomorrow, filling Bo Diddley Plaza with dozens of musical acts, vendors, and even a kid's space. The parade begins tomorrow at noon on University Avenue. The event will last until 9 p.m. and is free for the public. Last weekend we had the homecoming parade, so it's nice that we have something else to look forward to this weekend. Absolutely, and it's certainly a tradition, Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Ryan.